How would do, KL crew? We're here again with another deck profile. July 5th, 2018. Hope y'all's 4th of July evenings was good fun. Anyway, guys, we're doing a deck profile update of anti-dick face meta. It's been a while. I apologize, guys. So we're just going to get right into it. Sorry about that. Triple Inspector Border. New addition to the deck. <clears throat> basically what this one does for the deck is it's kind of like an effect lockdown. So basically unless the um, opponent controls different types of monsters. So for example, um, any type of extra deck monster, ritual monsters, or link monster. Each of those will get him one effect. So if, he, if all he has is effect monsters on the field, he doesn't get any effects. If he, however, link summons then he'll get one effect. If he link summons and then also has a synchro monster, that'd be two, and, and you guys get it. It's a little bit of a complicated uh, effect, but that's basically how it works. Triple Fossil Dina. Um, basically no special summons. Triple Thunder King Ryo. Sorry about the one common, still looking for my third gold rare. Um, no searching. And it also kind of has a... Uh, um, a strike effect. Oh, not a strike effect. A warning effect for summons. That's all the monsters. Nine count. A little higher than I'm used to. Usually I do eight, but this felt right. Going on to spells. We got triple card demise. Uh, this card makes this deck, honestly. Without this, I, I don't know. I guess I'd have to go back to Into the Voids. I'd be sad. Double pot of duality. Um... Also really, really helps a deck. I mean, we don't special summon, so it doesn't affect us. But it is a once per turn. So, I cut it down to two because I wanted room for other stuff. Might bring it back up to three. Not sure. Double Quiet Life. This card and an Inspector Border is a very nice um, soft lock for the deck. I mean, because basically what this one does is... First of all, you have to activate this first. You know, So if it's in your hand, be sure to activate it first. Otherwise, it's useless to you. Uh, basically what this does is it makes it where your opponent has to either choose to normal summon or special summon. He cannot do both. Then one of Dimensional Fisher. Uh, a lot of decks are using graveyard effects nowadays, so I like to main this. Um, I have a couple of other cards for those type of things in the sideboard, but I, I main this and one other card just for that. Moon Mirror Shield. Um, because it recycles itself, you know, because when it goes to the graveyard, you pay 500 and, you know, it goes to the bottom of the top. I didn't see any need to run it at more than one. Good card to have. Uh, I especially like using it with Fossil Dyna because Fossil Dyna is a little on the small side. So, basically makes him gain attack until he's 100 over whatever it is he's attacking. That is all of the spells. Moving on to the trap lineup. Double Phantom Nightwing. Uh, protection also gives the monster a 500 boost. Double Heavy Storm Duster. Take care of back row just in case they're running back row as well. Something that is really, you know, it really hurts this deck. Double Storming Mirror Force. You know, Battle Traps are always good. Just in case you don't have any protection for your monsters and they decide to go all in. Well, it's all going back to the hand. Double Bottomless Trap Hole. Um, because when a Fossil Dine is on the field, they can really only normal summon. And if they, they happen to be able to normal something, something big enough to go over Fossil Dine, well, that's why we have Bottomless. One of Infinite Impermanence. This is only a one of because I only have one. If I had three, I would, of course, be playing at three, most likely. Um, basically, it's kind of like an effect veiler. Negates the effect. Um, and then if it was set when you activate the effect, um, that entire column's effects get negated. Um... And, of course, you can activate it from hand. That's the part I missed. Moving on into the counter trap lineup. Dark Bribe. Um, you know, some anti-meta decks play this, some anti-meta decks don't. I personally really like this because, you know, the things that are the most detrimental to mine is board clearers, you know? Anything that, you know, like a Rageki, Dark Hole, and most recently, Evenly Matched, you know? I like this because it's a counter trap, which means I can pretty much chain to anything. And yeah, we give them a draw, but they can have their draw because I keep my field. Continuing. We run a full Solemn Brigade. 
Triple Strike for effects and special summons. Judgment. Recently off one of the ban lists. Um, really love it. You give up half your life points to negate pretty much anything. Um, of course, you have to use this wisely. And, of course, Solemn Warning. Um, pay 2,000. And, you know, the only normal summon that they would have had just got negated. And we move on into our continuous traps. Wouldn't be an anti meta deck without some kind of floodgate. I run two anti spell fragrance because I feel like spell cards are very, very important, and to slow them down is like the best thing you can do, honestly. And our last. Oh, night, no, we got two more. Double Phantom Knight Sword, more protection, uh, and plus an 800 boost as long as it's on the field. And our last trap Macrocosmos, Graveyard Banishing. Same thing as the last one. Alright guys, that's the main deck. We're going to move on into our side deck. Oh, actually no, we'll move on into our extra deck. Yes, we do run an extra deck. Is it very, very important? Yes and no. So, we're going to start off with this. We run a full Utopia package. You know, just in case we get something that we can't quite get over. Um, assumably if uh, Fossil Dine is on the field, because we can't special summon at all. But, you know, in a situation where we have, let's say... Uh, double Thunder King or uh, Thunder King and a uh, Inspector Border. We can go into rank fours, and that's really what you run in this is rank fours. Gaga -ga Cowboy. Why? Because we run in a format where time is a bitch. And if we just needed a little bit of a boost at the end of the game, that's what we do. Dire and Dire Wolf. Good for the pop. Castell. Send something back to the hand. Harlan Draco, in case I need to attack directly for some reason. Also, when a, another uh, spell card is on the field, um, and like a continuous one, um, she can't be targeted for attack. So if I have her with um, a Quiet Life, then that, it's a good little, not really a soft lock, but it's a good little wall for a while. Tornado Dragon, just in case there's any pesky back row I need to take care of. Baguska, in case I need to stall, to be honest. Uh, about three turns of stall. Then we're going to get into the ones that I really can't summon, but they're there for a certain purpose, and you'll see it later. Double Helix, Firewall Dragon, Kagari, Hexia, Totally Awesome, and ABC Buster Dragon. I'm sure you guys know exactly why these are in here, but we're about to get into it. Now into our side deck. Now, most of these are sides for when I go second, or forced to go second, I should say. but And some of them are just for particular matchups. Triple Ash Blossom. When I'm forced to go second, and I want a little bit of something to be able to negate a few things. Maybe not let them set up their full board, if you know what I mean. Let's see. Triple Cherry. I don't know exactly where my third cherry is right now. I thought it was in here. Anyway... Um, triple Cherry, that's what the Cherry targets inside of the extra deck are for. Let's see. Triple Banisher of Radiance. So, just in case I face something like BA, or something where the, um, extra, I mean, the graveyard is very, very important, that's when I side these guys in. Or even if, I, if I'm having a matchup where one of my monsters that I run are not very effective against that deck, I'll just put him in if he's more effective. Double Red Reboot. Uh, basically, this one here is for... Um, oh, everyone knows what Red Re Reboot is for. It's for decks that ru run either a lot of back row or certain trap cards that are just really bad. So this would be good in case someone tries to evenly match me, or if I'm play playing Trick Stars and they try to reincarnation me. Really anything. Uh, if I activate it from the hand, it, it you know it's 4,000 life points. Or, and, but if I set it, it doesn't cost me anything. So I like it. <clears throat> Imperial Iron Wolf. Basically, this one here is just... I only put this in here for, for one purpose, really. And that's for my fellow KL members who happen to run evenly matched, because that'll stop it. Uh, it's also good for any anyone who does a lot of banishing, like Noids or anyone like that. And then the last two are spell cards, board clears, Rageki and Dark Hole. And that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, that is going to be the update for July 2018. Be sure to like and subscribe, and until next time, guys, aloha.